Hello, uh, doing a video here on the connection vault. So it's open right here as you can see. If you go to the home tab, you can close it, open it from here. So as we looked at before, uh, you can join one from the bottom and then move the top one. So if you want to put them the other way around, or if you want to join them over here, that's how you do it. So they'll snap onto them when you go over close to the bottom. Uh, when I started using the software, I was a little frustrated with this. You can also make these snap them onto the side if you want, one at a time. So if you bring this over here, actually on this side. No, hold on. Maybe it's just these, is it? Yeah, this one will snap on there, and these ones will snap on. Hmm, they're not snapping onto the top. All right, anyway, I don't even want to want to snap them on there anyway. So we're going to come over here, we'll pull it out here a little so we can have a look at it. So basically this star is uh, activated for your favorites, and if you press the play button, you can see a preview of your connections that you like. So. Basically, these first ones you can see from the image are plates at beam. So we'll want the base plate one. So if you hover over it, you can see a star comes over here. Click on it, add the favorites. Pretty self-explanatory. So basically, that one I like the favorite. I'll favorite the end plates and I'll favorite the stiffeners. Then generally I'll skip that. You can come here. These are more complicated joints, some moment connections, which are good. But I'll jump straight down here, not to this one. See, there's a splice joint, which is useful here. Some of these purlins, uh, you know. So we'll add these ones, a clip angle, double clip angle. If you scroll down here, there's a shear plate. There's also some more moments in here. These are for platform beams, these connections. Then you have bracing here, so you can, you know, favorite these two, they're fairly popular ones. And so on. If you come down here, there's some different ones. There's also some miscellaneous here, which are useful. Uh, the anchor bolts, uh, it's for anchoring the stairs down and the railing joint some of these i don't use and play with bolts this one can be useful but generally you'll be using it for stairs and you that will be created in the stair macro joist seat some of these things i just do manually uh, these bolts and gauge lines is a useful one so when i go back up to my favorites you can see there's all the ones that i favorited and they will be saved for the next time i come back in there's also settings in here so you can change the size the opacity things like that uh, generally I like it the way it is so I mean I don't want to change any of these you can change them if you want there's background colors I guess it depends what team you have sorry okay so uh, I guess we want hurt us to change one just to see. I don't know if this will go. It will go up to fifty. Yeah. So it was at thirty-five. Okay. And you can see it's got bigger there. Now that's far too big for me. So I like it at thirty-five. It's a good sweet spot. I think that's what it comes in at automatically. And basically, then if you want to try and use a connection. Uh, we'll go through some connections in later videos. Uh, let me copy this over here. Five foot, five feet. Uh, we'll zoom in, and then we can pick. Um, I guess I didn't favor those, did I not? Hmm. No, I just clicked on them. That's right. Uh, so we want to come back here to platform beams, and we want to favor the clip angles. Sorry, I just clicked on this instead of clicking on the star the double one and then we'll scroll down to the shear plate that's done all right so if we go back to our favorites we can see we have our clip angle so select the main beam and then select the secondary beam and you'll see we'll come in with this 
with this um, macro for changing all the elements here so I mean you can do things like the bolts you can change them to TC bolts uh, you can change the vertical bolts to two you can also move it down so if I move it down to four instead and then if I want to make the top end three and the bottom end three now that's obviously not a clip you're going to create but just to show you how you can control it you can move the bolts in and out by the horizontal setting and you know it's basically the same thing then for the next one if you want to do a double connection select the me the main beam then the first secondary beam and then the second secondary beam i guess i'll call it for argument's sake and the same thing here so then you can copy this around we'll cover that later but that's basically your connection vault you just go in and play around with it uh, you'll understand some of them some of them you won't understand uh, they're fairly self-explanatory by looking here but they can become difficult when you open them uh, trying to figure out what parameters are what so some are easier than others most of these ones here i have that i use are basic enough ones so i hope that helps um the next video is going to cover the autocad palettes it'll be a short video i just use some autocad palettes over here and they're not active right now so uh, i'll see you in the next video i hope these are useful and i'll try not to make them too long all right take care thank you bye